What I have here is my latest version of the 3D printable sash clamp. The original version, which works great, it uses a threaded rod, uh, half inch or M12, and it uses a captured knot. And you have to lock tight a knot on or unless you get a carriage bolt. That's another option. So it's fully threaded. So some of these components are a little tricky to find or you have to do the extra step of adhering a nut on. This version, being printed threads, uh, eliminates that step. So the uh, clamping force that we can apply is pretty substantial. I've measured this one at over 200 pounds of, uh, of clamping force. Yeah, about 100 kilos actually. This one should be about the same. Basically, you're only limited by your hand pressure. And, uh, well, this has a lot uh, coarser thread pitch. So, yeah, in theory, for a given amount of torque that you're applying, it would be a little less. But, I mean, I generally don't torque it to the max that I can apply with my hand pressure. It's usually, it's just, that's plenty. <laughs> so. so, one aspect that I wasn't confident in the strength is the durability if you just drop these. I've, I have been using these for a couple of years now and I have dropped them on the onto concrete even a few times and um, I've never had a problem uh, this piece is pretty robust and obviously the steel isn't going to have any problems what I'm worried about is whether the plastic would be sufficiently strong so today I'm going to try some destructive testing this is the first version of the uh, screw that I attempted to print and because I screwed up something in the scaling the parts didn't fit together and so I've already done a sort of a torture test on this by driving it in like with more torque than I would ever use on, on um, actually clamping a project. And well, that held up in, in torsion. Now, let's try it for impact. This is PETG, by the way, that I printed all these parts from. I really don't think that PLA would stand up to an impact, but we're going to find out if PETG will. So for our first test, I'm just gonna nudge it off the edge of my bench and let it fall to the concrete floor. That test is a failure. So there's the limitation. Uh, don't drop these onto concrete. And if you want to drop your clamps onto concrete, print the one with the metal screw. So here's my latest change. You can see a little bit of steel poking out the end here. And what that is is a piece of uh, steel threaded rod and the plastic printed part has threads running all the way down to just near the end of this. Uh, so I'm going to repeat the test that I had done previous just to see if this steel reinforcement uh, is sufficient to keep it intact from a fall from bench height onto the concrete. A little scuffed maybe, but it's in one piece. That's a win. So with this we've got all the advantages of the metal screw version, uh, but with all the advantages also of the plastic screws because it has the same durability as the metal version, but it uh, requires less effort to build and it has that extra coarse thread so fewer turns moves the clamp further. So that's my favorite version to date. If you'd like to print your own, you can find a link in the description.